this morning day two Thursday uh, I've just spent my first night out and uh, whew, a little rough um, it's a bit chilly but manageable I wish I had gone ahead and put on some of my extra layers before bed I think I'm going to stay in this camp for today um, I can go out for a walk kind of scout ahead without the pack um, I think my next campsite that I want to go to is just about a mile away but I can take my bow out for a walk and go uh, you know I doubt I'll see anything to hunt but uh, can go for a nice lightweight walk make sure the camp is there and uh, kind of let things dry out today All right. the weather is uh, it's cold we're still misty you know still in, in the cloud but it's supposed to clear up later today and uh, if that's the case it would be much nicer to pack this up when it's dry as for now, I'm going to try and get a fire going and uh, make some breakfast. This is one of the few times I've actually seen the sun in the past few days. Oh, lovely. campsite right by a stream that I wish I had my pack on and could just stay here. So it's a little after two uh, on day two. I left my camp and went out in search of water. Now I finally found water. It's, uh, it's been an hour and a half, maybe two hours hike to get here. I found a campsite here. This was originally you know, where I intended to camp on the first night, but the trail kind of kicked my ass. I'm gonna stay in my original camp for another day. This was mostly downhill. Uh, I am not looking forward to turning around and going back. I don't know, just uh, plans are adapting, changing. Uh, but realizing my own limitations and how I have overestimated or underestimated many, many things. I've definitely overestimated my ability 
Uh, I think I underestimated the weight of my pack. It's a learning experience because I haven't done this in a very long time. Uh, and I've never done it, you know, like this uh, in this Ranger gear. Another lovely campsite here. This whole little valley is just dotted with beautiful sun dappled campsites, uh, each with a fire ring and plenty of nice flat spaces to pitch a tent. Wish I'd been able to make it here. Right now, I'm just hoping that I can go uh, find the falls. It's supposed to be a gorgeous view. And that should, that'll make the, the trip down here worth it. It's about 4.45 Thursday. I am making my way back from the falls and it's gonna be a big uphill climb. To be honest, I'm kind of afraid I won't make it before the sun sets. Uh, I won't get back to my camp. So I've got all the water I can carry. Everything's full. Head back to camp, hopefully, uh, hopefully before dark. It's one hour to sunset now. I don't think I'm gonna make it back to camp in time, uh, but hopefully I can still make it by dusk and yeah, do have a little flashlight and uh, light on my phone and a spare battery. Probably only come a mile, but it's been straight uphill. Whew. All right, that's it. Sun's gone down over the mountains there. I'm officially at dusk. And I'm not home yet. All right, so I'm back at camp, finally. Oh, today was rough again. I left around noon on a trip to go find water. The sun set on me. I had to do the last section of the trip back in the dark. Fortunately, there was only about 15 minutes where I actually needed light. The path was pretty well defined, so I was able to just take my flash, uh, my, uh, my cell phone and just tucked it into the strap on my chest and turned the light on it. Man, if I hadn't had some other light source, that would have been rough. And obviously using your cell phone as a light is, uh, can be dangerous because um, uh, I could either use this light to hopefully get me back to camp 
or I could end up wasting the battery on something I need that could actually call for help. And sometimes you don't even know how far you've got to go. Uh, one little trick that, that gave me some hope is um, on the way out, I took a picture of a very unique tree. I'd also taken a little video, picture, whatever, uh, right when I left my camp. I went back in my photos and checked the time on those. And with that, I, I, you know, when I got to that unique tree, I could check that and say, okay, I've only got 15, 20 minutes, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes on this trail to get back to my camp. Um, that, that gave me a lot of hope there. Uh, another long, rough day. Uh, that was a brutal up and downhill climb. Mostly the, the uphill coming back was absolutely brutal. When I think about if I go down that with my full pack, but then climbing back up that with my full pack, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's not. There are some other campsites. I am, I do think I am gonna move camp tomorrow. We'll see how that goes in the morning. For now, I didn't take any food with me and it's just too late. I'm exhausted. I don't wanna make a fire. I don't wanna make stew or anything like that. So my food was left in bear bags here. I'm gonna go just pull that down and pull out a bit of beef jerky and uh, some of those trail ration bars, uh, nut and berry bars my wife made and just have a cold camp dinner and just tuck in for the night. So, good night. See you in the morning. All right. It's Friday about 8 a.m. Oh man, it's cold last night. Uh, it's 40 degrees right now with the sun up. I think it was actually colder this night than it was the previous. Beautiful night, full moon out. You know, I woke up uh, early in the morning and, and it was bright enough. If, if I'd wanted, I could have gone out and walked around, but I did not want to get out from the blanket. Uh, I still don't. I'm wearing it right now. Oh, I'm going to make up some oatmeal, some porridge, get warmed up, and then break down camp. I don't know if I'll actually share this video. I've got my pack on. <sighs> Damn, it is heavy. <sighs> I'm headed back downhill, just downhill, um, back the way I came. It's about a mile and a half. <sighs> it's about a mile and a half back to the car. And I am seriously considering going back to the car. It's, it's almost two o'clock and I'm just now on the trail after breaking camp. I don't know if I want to do it again tonight. I spent one cold, wet night and then one even colder dry night. <sighs> and I have seriously uh, underestimated this pack weight and overestimated my ability. Going big the first time, 
probably wasn't the best. I think I can do this and plan to do two nights more often. We'll see.